Hey guys, welcome to Drum Major Vlog 2. In this vlog, I will show you guys how to tie military baton cords. A lot of people have been requesting this, and now I'm finally doing it. First of all, I just wanted to take this time to say sorry for not posting a video in, in a while. I've just been super busy with school and stuff, and it's, was, it's been hard to find some free time to shoot a video. And I would like to first thank um, all those who viewed and or subscribed to my videos. Now on to, now on to the tutorial. Cord tying on a mace or baton may seem very tricky to some, but in reality, it is actually quite simple. Cords are essential for military batons because they help provide better balance and better grip. Cords can also be used on maces, but since a good majority of cords are used for military batons, this tutorial will concentrate primarily on military baton cord tying. Step 1. Preparation of the baton. Take a minute and clean the baton. Take a soft towel and go over the shaft removing any dirt, smudges, or fingerprints. Once done, set the baton aside. Step 2. Preparation of the cords. Take the cord and make sure it is free of any tangles or knots. Hold the cord by the tassel end, making sure they are even. Select one tassel and pull it about 12 to 15 inches further from the other, making sure not to let go of the other tassel. These two ends will be referred to as the long end and the short end. After you have pulled the cords, run your finger down the cords until you come to the midline. Do not alter the cords to come to the exact midline of the cords. This loop will play an important role later on. Step 3. Wrapping the cords. Take the baton and measure approximately 5 inches from the head. Hold the baton with two fingers in the exact spot. This will be where you will start wrapping. With your free hand, take the loop from the cords and loop it from the bottom and bring it to where your fingers are placed below the head. Be sure not to alter the midline or tassel length. Now you're ready to begin wrapping the cord. Remember the long end and the short end of the cords? Take the long end and wrap it around the baton going over the short end. Try to keep the short end straight against the shaft as you wrap the long end around the baton. Loop the long end around the baton 13 times. Make sure each loop is tight around the shaft. When you are done, you should have something that looks like this. Step 4. The crisscross. Now comes the fun part. Keeping the ends tight, begin wrapping each end in a crisscross fashion going down the shaft. Be sure to alternate and be consistent. For example, on one side, the right cord will go over the left, and when they come to the back, the left cord will go over the right. In other words, over under, under over. Keep in mind that as you tie, pull from the cords, not from the tassels. Excessive pulling on the tassels will cause them to come off. Keep crisscrossing until one tassel hangs even or slightly below the tip. Step 5. Securing the cords. By now this should be close to what you have. Now it's time to secure the cords. Notice how you have a short end and a long end. Using the technique in step 3, wrap the long end around the baton going over the short end. Keep wrapping until the tassels are about even in length. Remember not to pull on the tassels. Once the tassels are about even, tie them together either with a double knot or a square knot. The tassels when tied should hang even or slightly above the tip of the baton. If your tassels hang below the tip, start over and wrap the cords either in a tighter crisscross pattern or higher up closer to the head of the baton. Try to refrain from constantly undoing and retying the baton cords. Excessive tying of the cords can damage the mace and baton shafts. Try to practice on a broomstick or something similar in size to your mace or baton. 
Hopefully this tutorial was helpful to you all. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment or drop me a message on my YouTube site. Thanks for watching.